The Israeli military has issued a directive for 1.1 million Gaza residents to evacuate the northern region, citing an impending offensive. On Friday, Israel's military issued evacuation orders to almost half of Gaza's 2.3 million inhabitants in anticipation of a potential ground offensive. The objective of the operation would be to eliminate the Hamas militant organization following their violent incursion into Israel, according to UN officials. The orders added to the anxiety of civilians and aid workers who were already grappling with the effects of Israeli airstrikes and a blockade. Israel's military issued a single order for evacuation, urging hundreds of thousands of residents of Gaza City to move towards the southern parts of the Gaza Strip, a slender stretch of land along the coast. The order was issued because the Israeli military claimed that there were militants belonging to Hamas concealed in underground tunnels located beneath the city. The Israeli military has stated that the evacuation is necessary for the safety of those involved. The ruling organization of Gaza, Hamas, has been in power since 2007. They have rejected the orders given to them and have instead encouraged fellow Palestinians to stay resolute in their homes and resist the abhorrent psychological warfare led by the occupiers. This statement was released by their Authority for Refugee Affairs. Shortly before midnight on Thursday in New York, the Israeli military issued a distinct directive to the United Nations. The directive ordered all 1.1 million civilians residing in northern Gaza to evacuate south within a 24-hour period. As the panicked calls of her family echoed around her, Enos Hamdan, an official at the UN Agency for Palestinian Refugees in Gaza City, frantically packed anything she could get her hands on. This is absolute chaos. Nobody knows what to do, she exclaimed. According to her, all the UN personnel in Gaza City and northern Gaza were instructed to head south to Rafah. Meanwhile, Nebal Farsak, a representative of the Palestinian Red Crescent in Gaza City, expressed doubt that over a million people could be relocated swiftly and securely. The focus is no longer on the basic necessities of food, electricity and fuel. Instead, the primary concern is solely centered on survival and the ability to persevere. These sentiments were expressed by Farsak, who was overcome with intense emotion and began to cry uncontrollably. As she posed the question, what will happen to our patients? Farsak responded with a heavy heart. Among those in their care were wounded individuals, elderly persons and children who were currently hospitalized. Despite the danger, many of the medical staff were unwilling to leave their patients behind. As a result, they reached out to their colleagues to bid farewell instead of evacuating. The sudden influx of orders was interpreted as an indication that Israel's ground offensive was imminent but the country's military has yet to officially confirm this decision. Despite preparations being made on Thursday, an official decision had not been reached. According to Jonathan Konrikus, the official spokesperson for the Israeli military, the military will be conducting operations in Gaza in the upcoming days with a considerable amount of force. He has urged civilians to evacuate the area so the military can target Hamas militants. Conricus also said that the Israeli forces will make a concerted effort to minimize the harm caused to non-combatants. In the interest of acknowledging that there are non-combatant individuals present, whom we do not consider to be our adversaries and therefore do not wish to harm, we are appealing to them to vacate the premises so that we may proceed with our operations aimed at Hamas military targets in the Gaza Strip. The United Nations has conveyed that the extensive warning to evacuate applies to UN personnel as well as the hundreds of thousands who have sought refuge in UN schools and other establishments in response to Israel's ongoing around-the-clock airstrikes that began on Sunday. According to the spokesperson for the United Nations, Stefan Dujaric, the occurrence of such a movement would inevitably result in catastrophic humanitarian consequences. Dujaric has made a fervent appeal on behalf of the United Nations, urging for the cancellation of any order that may have been issued in the event of confirmation. Taking this step would prevent the worsening of an already abysmal situation and avert a potential catastrophe. A different official from the United Nations commented that they are currently attempting to attain a clear understanding from high-ranking politicians in Israel. The official, who preferred to remain anonymous because he lacked authorization to speak publicly, stated that the matter was entirely unprecedented. 
If a ground attack were to take place in Gaza, where Hamas holds power and the inhabitants are confined to a narrow 40km strip of land, it is probable that there would be an increase in fatalities for both sides. This is due to the intense and violent nature of house-to-house -house combat in such a densely populated area. Since last Saturday, Hamas has launched an unparalleled assault, and with smaller attacks that followed, it has led to the deaths of over 1,300 individuals in Israel, which includes 247 soldiers. Such a toll has not been seen for decades in Israel. In response, Israel has bombarded Gaza, and the casualties have exceeded 1,530 individuals, according to sources from both sides. Israeli authorities claim that around 1,500 members of Hamas were killed within Israeli borders, while hundreds of those who died in Gaza were also members of Hamas. The number of wounded on both sides is in the thousands. In the current conflict, Israel has been relentlessly bombing Gaza, while Hamas militants have retaliated by launching numerous rockets into Israel. The situation has sparked fears that the violence could escalate throughout the region. According to reports from Syrian state media, Israeli airstrikes caused damage to two international airports in Syria. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has declared his determination to completely defeat Hamas after their brutal attack in the southern part of the country last Saturday, which resulted in the deaths of hundreds of innocent individuals, including children in their homes and young people attending a music festival. As the Israeli public mourns and seeks retribution, there is a mounting expectation for the government to take decisive action against Hamas, rather than attempting to contain the militant organization within the Gaza Strip. According to the United Nations, the amount of people displaced from their residences due to Israel's airstrikes has increased significantly within a day. It has now reached a total of 423,000 people out of a population of 2.3 million marking a 25% surge. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.